Vietnam economic bright spot in 2020. Prime Minister orders suspending flights from countries' territories with new SARS-CoV-2 variants. Foreign e-commerce traders to be under control. Online campaign to promote Vietnamese tourism. Hello, this is Yng Trung and welcome to FPNC News with latest updates from Vietnam. Prime Minister Nguyen Xuân Phúc has ordered suspending flights carrying Vietnamese citizens home from countries and territories which report new variants of SARS-CoV-2 and see complicated pandemic developments, first in the UK and South Africa. The government leader made the instruction in his Directive No. 01 issued on January the 5th on intensifying COVID-19 prevention and control to ensure a safe and happy Lunar New Year or Tet holiday. Vietnamese people spread up biggest of festival which falls in the first half of February this year. The foreign ministry is tasked with the strict screening of Vietnamese citizens abroad who wish to return to the country to ensure the repatriation of those most in need in the target groups. The directive notes that the pandemic continues spreading rapidly in many countries with more than 600,000 new cases and 6,000 fatalities recorded each day. In particular, several new and more contagious variants of the coronavirus SARS-CoV-2 have been detected in 38 countries. The risk of the coronavirus entering and spreading in Vietnam remains high due to both legal and illegal entries and the negligence in disease prevention and control among the community. The Defense Ministry and local People's Committees should maintain close monitoring of all people entering Vietnam and ensure the 14-day concentrated quarantine and strict medical surveillance after concentrated quarantine as regulated so as to stop the coronavirus from spreading at concentrated quarantine facilities and from these facilities to the community. In case new infections are detected, the Ministries of Health, Public Security and Defense and Provincial and Municipal People's Committee must immediately trace those with possible contact with the patients and apply necessary measures. Vietnam has emerged as an economic pride spot with a growth rate of 2.91% in 2020, which is attributable to the country's efforts in containing COVID-19 and timely support policies to people and businesses, international organizations said. The International Monetary Fund IMF predicted that Vietnam's economy will strongly recover in 2021, reaching macro stability across spheres from growth to current account deficit and employment. In July, the IMF said transparency is a very important factor in Vietnam's success and the multimedia approach has consolidated the people's trust and ensured that the whole society abides by pandemic control measures. In its World Economic League Table 2021, the Center for Economics and Business Research CEBR, said Vietnam's economy is expected to move to the 19th position in 2035. The country's annual rate of GDP growth is forecast to pick up to an average of 7% between 2021 and 2025. Over the subsequent 10 years, the Vietnamese economy will expand by 6.6% on average each year, the center said. In an article titled, A New Study Shows Emerging Economies Are Catching Up, The Economist of UK said the most successful club spans all today's advanced economies, as well as 16 emerging markets such as China, India, Malaysia, Thailand and Vietnam. The UK-based BBC News says Vietnam has minimized the economic damage from COVID-19 and is the only country in Southeast Asia on track for growth in 2020. Foreign traders and organizations that set up websites with Vietnamese domain names or in Vietnamese language are established e-commerce trading floors with 100,000 transactions per year from Vietnam would have to register e-commerce activities with competent agencies.
It is one of two options proposed by the MOIT in a draft decree revising the Green 52 of 2013 on e-commerce. As per the second option, no fixed thresholds on the number of transactions, visits or orders from Vietnam would be set up for e-commerce trading floor. Instead, the MOIT would base itself on the development of e-commerce in each period to coordinate with relevant agencies to issue appropriate regulations. However, whichever option is elected, there would also be three grounds for state management agencies to calculate the number of transactions, visits or orders from Vietnam, i.e. data provided by organizations and individuals engaged in cross-border e-commerce activities in Vietnam, information collected from related state agencies such as custom offices, tax offices, internet regulators and banks, information from public and prestigious sources. In addition, the draft states that foreign traders and organizations selling goods must comply with Vietnam's regulations on operation of e-commerce trading floors. The draft also emphasizes that the provision of e-commerce services is a sector subject to conditional market access for foreign investors. Accordingly, foreign investors wishing to invest in e-commerce activities in Vietnam must be on the list of global reputable technology companies engaged in the e-commerce sector. The list would be periodically released by the MOIT with reference to publications of specialized organizations, international news agencies and prestigious press. Besides foreign investors dominating one or more enterprises in the group of five enterprises with dominant position in the e-commerce service market would have to obtain appraisal opinions from the Ministry of National Defense and Ministry of Public Security. Companies having under 10% of market share on the related market would not be included in the group of top five e-commerce enterprises. Assessment of the dominant factor and the dominant market position would be based on current regulations on competition, enterprises and other related laws. New Age carrier Vietjet has been listed in the world's top 10 safest and best low-cost airlines 2021 by airline ratings, the world's famous airline safety and product rating website. The list also includes Ryanair's EasyJet, Frontier, Wiz, and WestJet. Airline ratings also rated Vietjet at 7-star level, the highest ranking for aviation safety in the world for three consecutive years now. In making its evaluation, airline ratings took into account a comprehensive range of factors, including records of safety compliance and incident handling. Especially for this year, the airline's COVID-19 prevention rating is also taken into consideration. Airline Ratings, known for its ranking for aviation safety and product, keeps tabs on 385 airlines across the globe using its unique seven-star rating system. It has been used by millions of passengers in the world and has become the industry standard. Airline Ratings also previously awarded Vietjet the best ultra-low-cost airline for 2020. Vietjet is a fully-fledged member of International Air Transport Association, IATA, with the IATA Operational Safety Audit, IOSA, certificate. The airline has also been named as Best Low-Cost Carrier by renowned organizations such as Skytrax, CAPA, Airline Ratings and many others. Deputy Prime Minister Vũ Đức Đàm has requested the Ministries of Health, Agriculture and Rural Development, Industry and Trade and People's Committees of Provinces and Cities work to ensure food safety during the Tet Lunar New Year holiday. Deputy Prime Minister Vũ Đức Đàm also requested that they focus on directing the management and ensuring food safety to ensure all food for domestic consumption reaches the same standard as exported goods. Traceability of basic food products on the market is also required, while prestigious products must have geographical indications and be protected in accordance with the law. The ministries need to set up plans, roadmaps and measures to direct the application of food standards for domestic consumption and traceability. In 2020, food safety inspections were affected by the COVID-19 pandemic. However, violation cases were still detected and handled in many different forms, ensuring compliance with the law and promptly publicizing the results to help people choose safe food. 
in 2020, the Ministry of Health worked closely with other ministries to strengthen the management of advertising on food and food supplement, establishments, organizations and individuals that publish advertising improperly were sanctioned. Prosecutions were brought in seven cases of violating food safety regulations. The Steering Committee for Voluntary Blood Donation said it had received approximately 1.7 million units of blood in 2020, which helps millions of patients, especially amid the COVID-19 pandemic. The amount of blood units donated in 2020 mostly fulfilled the annual plan. The majority of blood units were donated by volunteers, equivalent to nearly 1.7% of the population. Half of the donors donated their blood more than once. The amount of blood has helped cure patients who needed blood transfusions as the blood bank went dry when donors feared the coronavirus and stopped going to hospitals for blood donation. Last year's blood units have increased compared to the figure in 2019. In 2019, more than 1.6 million blood units were donated. The committee targets to collect more than 1.7 million units of blood this year. Vietnamese Divo Tung Yung once again emerged as the big winner at the 16th Devotion Music Awards held online in Hanoi and Ho Chi Minh City on January the 7th. Yung won three of the nine major categories, including Album of the Year for his progressive rock album Human, Music Show of the Year for the Human Life Show, and Singer of the Year for his powerful and energetic performances and contributions to contemporary music. He has so far taken home 13 prizes at the Devotion Music Awards. In his acceptance speech, he said such awards not only give him motivation, but also inspire him to remain creative and reinvent himself. Producer of the year went to DJ and music producer Huang Tuliver, who is music director of the TV reality show RapVid, which looks for the next best rapper in Vietnam. The show was a hit with more than 1 million viewers turning in to watch the finale on YouTube. Rapfit was also honored with Music Series of the Year. Music of the Year was awarded to Đi Về Nhà, or Going Home, directed by Hoàng Thanh Đông and performed by Dan and Chester T. The beautiful and emotional love song Hoa Nở Không Màu, Colorless Blooming Flowers, composed by Nguyễn Minh Cường and performed by Hoài Lâm, won Song of the Year. Best New Artist went to Rapvit winner Ye Chuck. The Devotion Music Awards were launched in 2004 by the Thể Thao and Văn Hóa Sports and Culture newspaper of the Vietnamese Agency to promote Vietnamese music and honor artists who have made significant contributions to the industry. A ballot was held earlier on the same day with about 100 reporters casting their votes to choose the winners in the nine categories. A tourism promotion campaign entitled Vietnam Đi Đế Yêu or Discover Vietnam was launched on YouTube on January the 7th to make Vietnam more popular among travelers via the digital platform. Organized by the Vietnam National Administration of Tourism, or VNAT, with support from Google and Vinpearl, the campaign is part of a program held by the Ministry of Culture, Sports and Tourism, promoting the country as a safe and attractive destination. It will feature clips from famous YouTube creators such as Khoai Lang Thang, Trang La Cà, Fly Around Vietnam, and Miss Universe Vietnam 2017, Hoa Han Nia, who have great influence on the young and a large number of subscribers. Each will serve as a virtual tour guide by sharing videos of their experience of Vietnamese culture, cuisine, people, and nature on their own YouTube channels and on VANT's channel at www.youtube.com slash Vietnam Tourism Media. The campaign is expected to help stimulate domestic travel demand and provide useful information for tourists. And that has wrapped up our program for today. Thank you for watching. Until next time, goodbye.